Hello all, welcome to the new video of signals and systems. In this video, we'll see the working of NMOS transistor. So before going further, we need to understand the structure of NMOS transistor. Okay, so let's see that. I've already drawn the structure of NMOS transistor. Okay, so NMOS transistor is a four terminal device. So those four terminals are one is gate, source, drain and substrate. So these are the four terminals and NMOS is constructed using a P-type substrate. Okay, so this part is substrate. So NMOS is constructed using P-type and similarly PMOS will be constructed using N-type substrate. So in that P-type substrate, we have we'll have two N plus regions formed. Okay. So the two N plus regions are source and drain. So one N plus uh, region which is formed here is called as source, another is drain. Okay. And we also have a gate electrode that is this part. So this is usually made of polysilicon material that is the gate electrode. And also notice that between gate electrode and substrate there is a tiny gap okay so that tiny gap is filled with a thin film of silicon dioxide okay this is SiO2 this is silicon dioxide so this acts as insulator so this acts as insulator that is this part okay oh, sorry I hope you can see that gray area so that is the silicon dioxide which acts as insulator and just below that on the surface of this uh, p-type substrate that is let me highlight that this part this is called as channel or also it is called as inversion region okay so this inversion region under the silicon dioxide between source and drain is called channel so this provides the conducting path so this is our channel and after that what we have so and also note that we have since we have dielectric here uh, which acts as insulator there is no path for current to flow into gate terminal so the input impedance of this gate terminal is very high okay and uh, the minimum size that can be realized using a VLSI technology is called as feature size of the technology okay so that is uh, one point so that's it regarding uh, the structure of NMOS transistor you need to know uh, like for which type of transistor what will be the substrate for example uh, I told for NMOS it will be P type substrate and for PMOS it will be N type substrate ok after that uh, remember that for PMOS I will just write here this will be N type and this will be P plus P plus ok so that's it related to structure of uh, NMOS transistor now let's see the working of this NMOS transistor in little bit of detail ok now let's see the working of NMOS transistor so we'll start from analyzing what happens if we apply positive voltage to the gate terminal that is we already have a structure here of NMOS transistor now let's analyze what happens if a positive voltage is applied to the gate terminal that is let's say we have we have applied that low positive voltage here so we already know that this is a p type substrate it means holes will be the dominant in this substrate so that you will be seeing a lot of holes in this p type substrate and when you apply some positive voltage what happens is the holes which are at the interface that is this is the interface 
dielectric so this is the substrate so this is the interface so the holes near the interface will get repelled because we are applying positive voltage so they'll get repelled and they go down the holes will go down so this will result in a immobile negative ions so when the holes get repelled it will form immobile negative ions at the interface like this so i guess many of you have already seen this happening in the pn junction that is during the working of diode or while studying the diode we know the diode is pn junction so this pnn and then in there will be negative ions here and positive ions here so this is the depletion region so similarly the negative ions form at the interface of this dielectric and substrate that is in this region when a po little positive voltage is applied okay so this process is called as depletion so it was called depletion region in case of mos this process is called as depletion that is the first step because uh, as you saw earlier there was already a channel that was the final state so how the channel gets formed is very important okay so we are getting there but before that there are several processes happening so one of them is depletion region that is formation of this depletion region here so that process is called as depletion process so depletion happens when you apply little positive voltage okay now we have immobile negative ions near the interface suppose let's say the applied voltage at the gate terminal if we increase what happens so at that time what will happen is more holes get repelled out of the interface that is earlier only holes from here got repelled now it this will continue here as well okay there will be more formation of immobile negative ions so this will continue only up to certain voltage level okay so it will reach a certain state that is if you go on increasing the negative ions will form so this will not continue forever okay so you don't expect negative ions still here so after reaching certain voltage what will happen is the concentration of electrons in this region will increase after this gate voltage reaches certain level let's say that level is vc so at that time this interface will have an energy band structure of the n type semiconductor material okay so this process is called as inversion the second step is inversion so when inversion occurs the electron concentration in the substrate that is here under the gate region increases that is this part so there will be electron concentration here in the second process that is inversion so these excess electrons constitute a path for carriers from source to drain so this electrons will form a kind of path from source to drain okay so they will form a path or it is also called as inversion region 
so at this point I would like to define another term which is very important in MOSFET so that term is called as threshold voltage so we need to understand what is this threshold voltage in MOSFET so threshold voltage VT so so threshold voltage is that value of the gate voltage applied which will form a appreciable channel just below the gate in the substrate okay so let me repeat threshold voltage is that applied gate voltage which will produce an appreciable channel in this substrate just below the gate region that is here say if VG is equal to 1 volt will provide us a appreciable channel that is we can say okay the channel is formed a basic channel which is needed for the ch carriers from uh, to go from source to drain so that basic channel is produced at say 1 volt then that is called as threshold voltage in MOSFET okay we saw in little bit of detail as how the channel is formed just below the gate region so now we are at that stage where the channel is already formed so when the voltage is applied between drain and source the current will start flowing in this channel okay the current will start flowing in the channel only when we apply sufficient voltage across these two that is this is called as VDS okay earlier we had applied the voltage at the gate that is VGS that was VGS that voltage was this okay so this is VGS so applying the sufficient VGS will form us the channel that is if you apply voltage greater than VT then a proper channel will be formed so at VT appreciable channel it will be like ok a channel is formed but uh, when you apply voltage greater than VT at that time you will get a very good uniform channel so once the channel is formed and you apply the voltage at drain to source you will get the current flowing in this channel now there is also another factor say if you increase VDS initially it was 2 volt you had this channel say if you increase VDS to 3 volt 4 volt at this so this change will also have some effect on the shape of this channel so if you increase VDS to 3 volt your new channel may look something like this okay let me take a new color so this was a channel your new channel will be something like this only upper part of this okay so let me draw it again so when VDS is 3 volt the new channel will be like this and for VDS is equal to 4 volt the channel may look like this so you can see that as the VDS increases the width of this channel gets decreased at the drain part that is drain side the width of the channel gets decreases so the width I am talking about is this thing ok so this width this width 
decreases at the drain channel. as VDS increases with the constant VG or VGS. So this effect is called as channel width modulation. Okay. So that is the another thing. So now we studied in detail about the working of uh, first we saw the structure of MOS transistor and then we saw the working of that. So in this case we took the working and structure of NMOS transistor. So similarly you can try it out for PMOS transistor as well. At that uh, time the substrate will be N type and you have to change the your notations and voltage uh, polarity etc okay so thanks for watching the video guys if you have any doubts please use the comment section